Sheep, I think it's a good idea if you stay out of here. Stay out of this place. I'm not kidding. Good day friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Research Center. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to try to get some DNA from hopefully a dinosaur, but maybe a plant, maybe something else. It's I really hope that's going to be a dinosaur, but first let's have a look at some of the comments from last week's video. Sean the Hamster says first. <laughs> nice. The Dino Master says you need to get a mod that's called Jurassic Craft. I think I actually have that as well. When I was looking for mods, I just grabbed everything that looked fun so i got the jurassic craft and this one uh fossils and archaeology and like five or six more so i've got a bunch of different mods but for now i'm going to try to use the fossils and archaeology mod to bring back a dinosaur hopefully a dinosaur and henry says a t-rex that wants to eat a t-rex yeah i know i know the t-rexes i don't know they don't like me even though i'm one of them i don't know why that is anyway let's get started uh first let me sleep so that it would be morning okay so i've prepared the things that i showed last week in the video um i need to first mine the fossils to make uh the analyzer and then i need the um then I need to make this thing. What was it called again? The culture vat. I need to make the culture vat. So I need the iron pickaxe, which I already had, uh, made specifically for this. Also, I've made a wall, as you can see, out of Lego. Uh, just a quick wall, not like a final design. Just a quick wall so that nothing would escape anymore. Uh, as you can see, I also have more wild cows and wild chickens than I had before because I've been breeding them. Uh, I didn't get any babies that were tamed. They're still all wild chickens chickens and wild cows also also i put the trees outside as you can see over there and i've given them some proper names i think some of you will think this will be interesting some of you will think it's boring but i've given them some proper names i've been looking uh for like the latin names uh and uh, all of them there's something wrong with all of them but that's okay we can still learn so first we've got the japanese maple which hasn't grown yet i think because this tree is blocking the light so yeah here it says japanese Japanese maple, but also Acer Japonicum Isami, which is what I have in identified it as because of the leaves, which have which are green with like this red outer line. So that's I think that that's why this is the exactly that tree. What's wrong with this is that it grows. In my opinion, it grows too quick and too big for a Japanese maple. I have one uh, of these, or actually I have three, but one exactly of this type uh, in my backyard, and it grows extremely slow. Of course, other trees also don't grow as fast but they, at least they grow really big over the course of a lot of time and japanese maples they don't grow that big and the big square logs uh then we have the cactus which i have identified as the carnage gigante i'm not i'm probably saying it wrong but that's a cactus that gets really big so that's why i've decided you know what let's let's call it that let's just say that it's that cactus um i didn't have the cactus yet in the last episode so i'm sorry that i sneakily got an extra plant without telling you but i had to get the uh, cactus uh green color to make the culture vet that i need in this episode to get the dna so that's why i had had to look for it um what's wrong with it is obviously that it's square and also is that it doesn't really grow arms it just goes up straight and i couldn't really find there are some cactuses or cacti that do grow up straight but uh, very often they will also get arms so I have identified it as a cactus that grows arms so I don't know just um, but I still think that's the best one because that one grows really big and these cacti grow really big and then I found out very sad that the trees from the extinct trees mod that I had are not actually real I thought they were based on actual extinct trees but I found a comment by the maker who said they are a uh, fantasy tree so the Lata tree is not actually one that has really existed I think I think they are they are based on something they are not completely made up so and of course it looks sort of realistic like the texture looks a bit a little bit similar to that of uh, the oak but yeah it's a fancy tree so i cannot really give it a latin name uh and it grows huge it's really hard to get rid of so i hope i can leave it here i think i actually have to cut it down if i want this one to grow or i'm going to have to sort of drill a hole through the leaves upwards in order to get enough 
uh, light to the Japanese maple. I don't know. And then I have the oak tree, which of course, as you know, gives apples in Minecraft, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So I have identified it as the normal, just the plain oak that you see in most places around the world. The Qu Quercus rober, uh, definitely pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but also the Malus pumila, which means apple tree. I, I'm, I'm thinking about sort of kind of mixing those names, maybe make it like a Quercus pumila to kind of combine the names of the apple tree and the oak tree because it's an oak tree that gives apples i don't know why it should give acorns but it doesn't okay so let's get started with trying to find some fossils i know that i found one around here where where was the entrance of that one mine somewhere around here there was the one mine where i saw fossils yes here did i get <gasps> yes Yes, I already got something that I need. The relic scrap. Now I need two biofossils, I think. Please. No, bones. I got bones. <gasps> I got a bone. Oh, no, 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 no. Are there more fossils around? Please tell me there are more fossils around here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to the big mine. But the big mine, as you know, is really big. So, um, so there's bound to be some fossils there. Let's go there. Uh, maybe I should bring some torches. Yeah, we'll bring some torches. And some backup tools. And I will see you in a moment when I'm prepared. Anyway, Dino DJ said, uh, was talking about Jurassic Craft, which I also have. And I think Jurassic Craft also has fossils. So there are actually two types of fossils that I can find um, in my game. Okay, I'm going to block that water. It keeps pushing me back. Oop. Do, do. Any fossils here, please? Any fo <gasps> Yes! Please, fossil, please, fossil. No, bones. Fossil, please. No, bones again. Why? Just give me, just give me the fossils. Oh, that sounds like lava. That sounds like lava. Oh, it is lava. Okay, be careful. Careful. Oh, there could be, there could be fossils here, you guys. There could be fossils here. Yes, yes. No, wait, these are Jurassic Park. I think these are... Fossils and archaeology fossils, and these are Jurassic Craft. That's what I think. So for now, I'm aiming for the fossils and archaeology ones. <gasps> oh, I got another relic scrap. I think I can use that. Yes, yes, I've got bio fossils. Okay, now I have enough to at least make the machines. I think. Please give me another bio fossil so I can get the DNA. Yes, yes, I think I have enough now. And I'm pretty sure that these fossils are from the Jurassic Craft mod. Let's see what happens when I mine those. I get, yeah, just a fossil. I think those mods don't work together. Like, I can not get the DNA the same way from this fossil like I get it from the other. But I will have to research that. Oh, don't step in the lava, please. Ow. Okay, so it's time to make the machines and to get some DNA. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have made a special room. I didn't have enough time. I will. I think I will make a special room for extracting the DNA and getting the eggs. Just a special room for you for doing that. The research, just like in Jurassic Park, you have the special place where all the researches are. I guess I should just say lab. I just, I, I need to make a lab. <laughs> a, t a DNA lab where we make the dinosaurs and the extinct plants and everything else. Okay, you guys, are you ready? So I need the biofossil like this. I need to make this in the workbench. And that should make the analyzer, okay? Uh, that's not a workbench. This. Okay, please tell me it works. Otherwise, my video from last week was a failure. Was it the other way around? Yes! Analyzer! Okay, I've got the analyzer, you guys. I've got the analyzer. Where do I even put it? Where do I even put it? Okay, we'll put it here. Then it should be able to analyze... Uh, well, both of these, probably. And it's, maybe it will get DNA. Oh, there's actually a small chance. Maybe I should have gotten some more. <gasps> Please give me DNA. Please give me DNA. Please give me DNA. <gasps> Wait, what? A broken ancient sword? What's an ancient sword? I don't even know. Okay, please DNA, please. Wait, what? I didn't get anything. Okay, well, how do you fix an ancient sword? Is it strong? Do you think an ancient sword is strong? It sounds pretty strong. <gasps> Allosaurus DNA, yes! Yes, you guys! You guys have got my first dinosaur DNA! Oh, this is so awesome, yes! Okay, um, 
Um, now I've got to make the culture vet. Uh, okay. Okay, so in here... In here, let's see, we put the DNA, but we also need something to put in it. I don't actually know what, though. But what else can you put in? I'm going to have to Google that. Okay, do I have a lot of animal meat? I don't think I do. Let's see, mutton. Uh, uh, rotten flesh doesn't even work. Okay, let's use the raw beef. Ooh, I hope that works. Oh, I cannot believe an Allosaurus is really cool to have. I thought I would get a really boring thing, maybe, uh, or a little plant or one of those extinct fish. But I got an Allosaurus on the first try. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. I don't even have a special place for it. I think if I put it here, do you think it will eat all of my animals? Hmm, I don't even know. I probably have to make a special room for it. I should probably quickly build something for it. Okay, I've got tons of this wood. Look at how much lata wood I have. And so many saplings, because every time it grows as big as the one that you see here outside. Uh, the one that I have here. Look how big it is. Every time I cut one down, I get huge amounts of wood. Huge, absolutely huge amounts of uh, saplings. Okay, so what's a good place to keep an allosaurus? I, abs I have absolutely no idea, but I'm just going to... Start making an Allosaurus enclosure. Ah, oh, the first dinosaur, you guys. The first real dinosaur. Um, what about here? Doesn't matter. I will, I will, I will no doubt uh, change it later anyway. I will change it later anyway. So for now, let's just make a simple and, and small enclosure here. Just for the time being. What if it escapes and eats all the sheep on the island? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works, you guys. I've got the place. It's not. It's it, 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 it's just temporary, okay? It's just a small enclosure to put the Allosaurus in. And then I will start working on, like, when I've got more dinosaurs, I've got to design, like, exactly where I'm going to put which dinosaur on the island. And how much space they each get. And what type of fence. Because I'm going to try to make as many of the fences and stuff like that out of Lego. So, but for now, this will be where I keep the Allosaurus. I have no idea what to feed it. I'm hoping it won't die instantly of hunger. I'm pretty sure they should be able to survive on their own. Oh, the cactus disappeared because the tree, the maple tree, grew next to it. There we go. Ow. Okay, come on, please. <gasps> We've got an Allosaurus egg, everyone. We've got an Allosaurus. It only took two beef. I thought it would take so much more. I thought it would take a lot of beef, but it only took two. So that means that I have enough beef for a while, actually. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I'm just going to sit here and just wait for it to hatch. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, man. Sheep, I think it's a good idea if you stay out of here. Stay out of this place. I'm not kidding. <gasps> hey, look at you, little guy. Hey, how are you doing? I've got a baby Allosaurus. This is the first dinosaur. Look at it, you guys. <gasps> look at this tiny. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? The first dinosaur, you guys. We've got a dinosaur. Yes, even the sheep are watching. Like, what is that? What are you doing on our island? I am bringing back the dinosaurs. Look at it. Oh, this is so awesome, you <laughs> guys. Finally, finally, I've got the first dinosaur. I'm trying to remove. Whoa, you have a decent roar for such a tiny baby. For such a tiny baby, you have a big roar. It's the size of a chicken. Oh, is it going to grow up by itself? I don't actually know. I've, I've googled something about it and it said... You need a, a special dinosaur encyclopedia. And then you can read what its mood is. And it can be happy or angry or any of those things. Dinosaurs, they have a mood apparently in this mod. So I need to keep it happy, but I don't know how. Um, but it's night again. I think I will go home. I will keep you here. Are you happy? Are you happy in your new home? Little baby Allosaurus. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is so awesome, you guys. I'm getting really excited to make more videos in this series. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, but for now, I think I'm going back to my bed. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp.
like a dinosaur. <laughs>